So this question says the width of a rectangular dance floor is W feet. So given how this question began, how this question um, began, I am going to treat it like a plug-in picture question. And all that means is if I ever read something in a question that can be drawn, I want to draw it, right? So I've been told that I have a rectangular dance floor. So I'm going to draw my rectangle. And I'm told that the width is W. So I'm just going to label that with W. The length of the floor is six feet longer than its width. Okay, so then instead of labeling the length as L, I'm going to label it as W plus six. Which of the following expresses the perimeter in feet of the dance floor in terms of W? Well, the perimeter of a rectangle is just the sum of each of its four sides. So I'm gonna continue label here and say, well, this is also W plus six. This is also W. And now when I add everything together, right? I have W plus W, uh, which is two W. Then I have W plus six plus W plus six, which would be plus two W plus 12. And then I simplify that even further and combine like terms. I have four W plus 12 as the perimeter. And therefore the correct answer here is choice B. Another way to solve this question is to use the strategy, plug in your own number. Okay, and the way that you would know that you could use this strategy is because of all of the W's in the answer choices. So the way this strategy works is we just make up a number for W. So we say W is equal to, I like to use the number two. I always suggest not to use negative one, zero, or positive one when you're making up your own number. But let's say, again, I have my rectangle, and now instead of W, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to make up my own number and say the width is equal to two. And then the question tells me that the length is uh, six feet longer than the width, so that means my length would be eight. And then the question says, well, what's the perimeter? Well, in order to find my perimeter, I'm just adding up all four sides together. So eight plus two is 10, plus eight is 18, plus another two is 20, so my perimeter is equal to 20. And then lastly, the last step of plugging your own number is to take that same number you use to plug in, so W equals two, that you use to plug into the question part, right? So technically this is like the question part, and then plug that same number into each answer choice until you find a matching answer, right? So when I try choice A, I have two W plus six, which would turn into two times two plus six, and that is not equal to 20, so A is gone. When I try choice B, I have four W plus 12, and that turns into four times two plus 12, and that does equal 20, and that's why choice B is the correct answer.